Hey guys, welcome to a, another commentary done by Davey, and this is going to be BSL Season 14, Hostile League Round of 16, Group B. This time, we've got Aegis starting at the 5 o'clock location as the Yellow Zerg, 6 o'clock? I'll call it 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock location as the Yellow Zerg going up against Jedi 1, who's in the upper left-hand corner. This is, once again, on Turbine, which has the... I just... I like doing the map reveal on this one, mostly because I like the... Uh, I don't know, I like the, the cool mini-map it's got. I just like revealing that on occasion. And I'm still very confused as to why the hallucinated minerals... Like, I don't think I've ever seen a hallucinated mineral field. Maybe that's just what they're kind of showboating is, is, hey, we can make hallucinated minerals now. And this, you know what? I, this is this is going to be a side rant from me. I feel like oftentimes Protoss gets the short end of the stick in 2v2. Like, oftentimes it's always, at least in the professional old Korean 2v2 scenes when they had the team leagues... It was almost always a Zerg and a Terran, or a double Zerg. In fact, I think double Zerg was banned. But I'm almost wondering if we could go to the map makers and you could throw down hallucinated mineral fields or things like that to balance the maps out to where it opens up more to... Because I feel like what really has advanced... I almost want to credit the map makers for making the balance in StarCraft more than... Like, the game itself... Like, if you look at the original Blizzard maps, like Bloodbath. Bloodbath is not a balanced map, right? But the map makers helped make this game balanced as well. By the way, seeing a gateway opener here from Jedi 1. Let me actually talk about the match. Maybe in anticipation of a potential 12 patch and wanted to get some of that attack in. But instead, we saw an overpool here from Jedi 1. So there should be Zerglings to defend this. Actually going to be double gateway. So two gate opener from Jedi. So while I'm talking about like desire for 2v2 map balance and things along those lines, that would be quite the challenge. Jedi 1 opening up with a two gate and I'm missing it. Jedi 1 going to scout up right hand corner first. And again, kind of able to confirm location as a result of that. Six, or, uh, it looks like only four Zerglings being produced initially. This is going to be very difficult to defend. And no probe scout, so the Zerglings were going to do the scouting. We do have the in-base hatchery from here. So this could potentially be very difficult for Aegis to defend. He is going to have the second hatchery. But this is going to be a lot of Zealots very, very quickly. And this probe looks like it's going to be able to wander out. The two Zerglings are blockading the front, but that also means they're not wandering out to scout to confirm this. And if the Zealots, if the initial two Zealots, this is what I'm really hoping to see from Jedi 1, is initial two Zealots to take the northern route to avoid this Overlord. So that it's even a bigger surprise. Because right now, Aegis is just pumping drones. And actually went for a third hatchery, which is most certainly going to need to be cancelled. So went for, try to, trying to play economically greedy, went third hatch before everything else. Which means these Zealots that are now streaming across the front, that I think might have even gone undetected from this Overlord. Yeah, this is just all drones. And this might be game here immediately. Let's see if Aegis... So yeah, just the probe. This is clever. Just trying to bait things out. So single probe just attacking here. And upon seeing no additional pressure, the Zealots are just going to go ahead and wander forward. Bully their way into the main. And there's three Zerglings versus three Zealots. And that is not a fair fight. This might be GG already. Very difficult defense from Aegis now. Trying to produce additional Zerglings. Good amount of damage here. Reposition. He needs to make sure those Zelts are attacking, though, because it is a time game. Get in. Disrupt that drone line. The drones now engaging. More Zerglings produced. More Zealots making their way in. And it's still almost a Zealot versus a Zergling. The drone's trying to pull off and fight against this. One drone taken out. That's actually been the first drone that I think has been assaulted. More Zealots marching their way this direction. You can see it's just kind of a huddled pile. Now they're just... Escaping to the natural expansion. The Zealot might even want to go after the spawning pool here. Zergling speed being upgraded. Looks like there was a cancellation of that hatchery finally. The probe going to wander in. Looks like it's still attacking that drone. But this looks like... Both a build order and an execution victory potentially for ages. More drones trying to defend this. Jedi 1 currently at 19 probes. And more Zealots marching in. The Zergling to Zealot count is still very unfavorable. The drone's transferring back across, trying to regroup. Now getting a nice drone drill, but the Zealot's still able to attack off that line. Probes attacking eggs because... And now, yeah, battle drone, get in there. You already got one kill. Now is your moment for glory. More Zealots marching in. So as even as Zerglings are being added to this, 
there still has never been a superior Zergling to Zealot count, although he just still does. It looks like the first Zealot. Like, that might have been the first Zealot kill. Seven kills on this Zealot. Are you kidding me? More Zealots wandering in. And there's GG from Aegis. Yeah, just got overly greedy in the opener. Wasn't confirming the build order. Quick win for Jedi to put the series 1-0. to zero. Hope you guys enjoyed it. It's nice to see you too, Gate, every once in a while. Thanks for listening.